so we're back. <laughs> we're back, and um, we uh, decided that we're um, going to allow everyone to stay up a little bit longer. I wasn't sent to bed yet, and the girls didn't go to bed yet. So we decided that um, we would um, honor the winter solstice, right? So this is the shortest day of the year, right? Do you know what the date is for the shortest day of the year? Solstice. Uh, I don't remember it. Yes, Willow. Um, you don't have to raise your hand. Mm, what is it? Oh, yeah. The shortest day. Yeah. It's really short. Right, it's really short. Do you know when it is? Uh, is it soon or is it far away? Far away. It is, huh? Mm-hmm. How far away is it? Today, um, let me give you a hint. Today is December something. It's December 9th. It's near Christmas. That's right. It's not that far away, right? Although it's all relative. The point is, is that it's coming. And that's the shortest day of the year. And that's traditionally a day where people go inside, they practice yoga, they uh, perform healthy contractions, and they like to wear pajamas all day. And uh, that's fun, right? <laughs> So, uh, but it also honors the sun because after the solstice, the winter solstice, the sun begins to do what? What happens to the light in the day? After, it grows No, after the winter solstice. What and it happens? grows later. Yeah, the days get longer. So what is the source of the universe? What gives the light that we see with? What is the source of all that there is? It's the sun, right? So the sun is going into its, um, its resting period, let's say. And so I thought it'd be nice if we honored the sun and also ourselves with this um, particular little ditty that someone came up with quite a long time ago. Have you ever heard of the Gayatri Mantra, otherwise known as the Savitri Mantra? You guys heard of this mantra before? Mm -hmm. You know, we're live here. <laughs> yes, I have. Okay. So, uh, this is actually the mantra to the sun. And what it means is, I honor that source energy of the universe, the light, uh, that is responsible for being, for consciousness, for all that is, that drives uh, nature, that keeps all of this going, this great dance that we live in. So I think that the sun deserves um, a nice little chant, don't you? To celebrate this sacred event. Yeah. Yeah. So without further ado, um, I suppose we should begin with our OM again, huh? So let's take, um, I don't know if you know it, I, I mean, I assume you know everything because you just chant so well. So let's take a breath in and allow one ohm to get settled in. Oh. Om Bhur Bhuva Haswaha Tatsavitor Variniyam Vargo Devasya Dimahi Diyoyona Prachodayat Om Bhur Bhuva Haswaha Tatsavitor Variniyam Bargo Devasya Dimahi Diyoyona Prachodayat Om Bhur Bhuva Haswaha Tatsavitor Variniyam Bargo Devasya Dimahi Dio Yona Prachodaya Whisper Om Bhuva Haswaha Tatsavitor Variyam Bargo Devasya Dimahi Dio Yona Prachodaya. I'm whispering the sun to sleep on the solstice. Om Bhur Bhuva Haswaha Tatsavi Torvariyam Bargo Devasya Dimahi Diyoyona Prachodaya Any goodbye wishes for the sun as you prepare to go off to bed? Bye. Good night. <laughs> Good night, dear Sabatri, the sun. We'll see you in the morning when you wake us once again. Mahadevis. Maha great goddesses. Davies. That's you. Willa Mahadevi. 
Sabine Mahadevi. Thank you and good night. We might even come back again. I don't know, but this is, you know, for now we're going to say good night, right? Anything else you'd like to add to the audience? Yes. Um. Anything you like in particular about the sun? Um, I like it because it gives light that we. That I we, like it because that it gives light to us, so we don't have to live in darkness. Beautiful. And I like well, how it likes to give us light, so we don't have to turn on the lights. That's true. We, you know, for a long time we couldn't turn on the lights. We just lived by the light of the sun, right? Or by the sun. Yeah. So that's a good point. And what would you say to people that might be afraid of the dark? Maybe um, other kids like you. So they're not going to be. So they don't have to be afraid of the dark. Um, it's okay. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. The dark is okay. Why? Because the sun will always come back, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Anything else? Even if it's cloudy, it it's just hot behind you, behind behind the cloud. The sun is. Yeah. You mean it's always there, even if it's cloudy? Yeah. Even if it's the nighttime, it's in a different form. No way. Where is it? Well, I don't see it. It can be in another country. Oh, on the another part of the world, they can yeah. see it when it's dark here. Yeah. Wow. So that means the sun is always present. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's. You know that the sun is called Shiva as well. Um, Shiva um, is called Prakasha, which means the source light of the universe. Can you say Prakasha? <laughs> Prakasha. Yeah, and we are the reflections of the source light. So we are Vamarsha. Vamarsha, right? These are phenomenal Sanskrit students. It's amazing, right? So we are never without Shiva, just as the world is never without light, even though it might be dark for us over here. And where are we now? North Vancouver. North Vancouver, right? That's true. Anything else to add? Mm -mm. No. Om Surya Yai Namaha. We bow to the sun and bow to the light within. Mm. Namaste. Namaste. Good night. Okay, we're all going to go to our bedrooms now and go to bed for God's sake. <laughs>